So lately it's been kind of hard for me to vlog every day. Again, not because I don't have the time to vlog, because picking up a camera and just shooting, it it's kind of easy to do that. It's the whole editing part that has me really, <laughs> you know, really trying to catch up with my vlogging. Um, I'm, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually taking a break for about a week on uploading any vlogs and I'm gonna try to edit them this week and schedule them out for next week. I'm gonna try something different to see if I can be consistent like that. So let's get on with our day. Uh, I'm gonna go driving again. Lately I've been driving like crazy and see if I can pick up some properties. So I got here to my destination and I am uh, currently driving around, still picking up properties. But while I'm driving, I wanted to talk to you guys about something, something that has been on my mind a lot today. And I, I wanna give you guys some type of encouragement. You know, a lot of people talk about how there's such a big wealth gap and the availability to wealth to you know people of my generation is slim to none like the availability of money is harder to get than it was say back in the 50s and 60s and i, I want to share with you that wealth is attainable to anybody any age any race any color any religion it's up to you to get what you rightfully deserve the only person that's going to create wealth for you is going to be you there are no obstacles standing in your way to create wealth except yourself. You are the biggest obstacle. And I mean that in a good way. I, I was the biggest obstacle in my own life. I'm not saying that I'm perfect and I decided, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I'm the one that's gonna change everything. I just, I had to come to a realization that my way of thinking wasn't working and I needed to change something. What was I gonna change? I didn't know at the time, but I knew that I had to change for the better. I started reading books and building up wealth of knowledge in my mind. You know, books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, uh, Grant Cardone, 10X. Those books helped me create the mindset, the winning mindset, to be able to create wealth. Now, the wealth don't reflect in my bank account right now, but I know that the wealth of in my mind will create the wealth in my bank account. I'm getting there slowly but surely. You know, it's taking it's taking two years for me to get to this point of making real money. And it's only there because I did it. You know, I I, I took the risks. I took, you know, the, those long nights, those early mornings. They came from me. You know, reading the books to help me with wholesaling, like Than Merrill, uh, The Wholesaling Bible, um, If You Can't Wholesale After This by Todd Fleming. No matter what type of business that you're gonna start or business that you wanna start, you're only gonna create wealth through business and you're not gonna create it through a regular job. That nine to five, you know, pays the bills, but that five to 10 builds the empire. That's where your real money is gonna come from. Jobs are just stepping stones. Not saying that you can't make good money or that some people, you know, I know guys that are making like 150K a year and they wanna leave that to pursue real estate. Why? Because you can build more wealth with a business than you can with a job. With owning a business, you have more opportunities to create a different type of schedule for yourself. You don't have to work every day. Like I'm out here hustling right now only because I want to. Like, do I really have to? I could sit back and be content with what I'm making right now, but I want more than what I have now. I wanna be able to, you know, take a one month vacation and not have to worry about anything at all. 
but I can't do that at this moment in time. Well, I mean, I could, but then I'd be playing catch up every time. If you really want wealth, if you wanna build wealth, the only person that can help you do it is yourself. You're the one that's in control of that. And I want you to feel empowered that you are the one who can create this for yourself. There's nothing out there stopping you except for yourself, guys. I'm gonna keep driving around here and trying to pick up more properties. And I'm gonna share with you guys how many properties I've picked up. All right, so my total for the day, it was 243 vacants, which is actually pretty good. I've been out here since, what, like 10 o'clock in the morning. From 10 to almost three o'clock, I was able to pick up 240 properties. That's fantastic. These are only vacant properties. These are not you know, owner occupied. They, You could tell that they were vacant. I mean, either grass was overgrown, windows busted out, whatever the case might have been. And then from my text messaging, picked up one property under contract with a second possible one on the way. So my total haul, I think for the past two and a half weeks that I've been driving, I think it's been through, this is the third week now. I'm up to almost 3,000 properties. So not bad at all, considering the fact that I'm the only one driving while my team is either making phone calls or you know, following up or whatever it is that you know my partner and my cold caller are doing. But not too bad. This week, I'm actually gonna go on vacation for a few days. I need a break away from all this driving and everything else that we've been doing. It's, it takes a toll on you. Even though you should hustle all the time, do not forget to not only celebrate your small wins, but also take time to get away from everything. And when I mean everything, cut yourself off from society for a couple of days, away from people, away from everybody, and just unwind. Unwind, relax, you know, uh, enjoy a good time with your close friends or family and just revive yourself because your brain can only take so much hustle. So that's what I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna lay back and just absolutely do nothing and go hang out. I'm probably not gonna come out with any more vlogs for the rest of the week either just because I wanna play catch up for next week and I'm, I'm probably just gonna record some stuff and schedule it out. It's been, it, it's hard to vlog so much and to edit so much and the thing is that like I was shooting one day, editing the next, and it it doesn't go well. Especially lately, I haven't really had much to vlog on other than me driving for dollars, and that gets kind of boring. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're like, God, he's driving again. He's been driving forever now. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this now. I'm gonna head home. I'm done for the day. I'm probably gonna organize some leads when I get home, and that's it. Life of a wholesaler. It's not super exciting, but you know, let's see what we can bring on this week. I know we got a lot of new leads and uh, I really can't wait to hit them. So I'll catch you guys later.